please pay attention to this broadcast. If you are in the states marked in red, or in surrounding states, this warning applies to you. Unusual growth of grain, as well as several other kinds of ground plants, such as soy, wheat, or maize have been growing rapidly throughout the central United States within the past few months. It seems to be growing on any type of available land and is immune to anything we are trying to use. At this time, residents who are residing in the marked states should shelter in place immediately and avoid travel as much as possible. Make sure you have the necessary supplies with you. Make sure you carry a battery-powered radio to get any updates via the emergency alert system. Event type is admin. For all of Alberta, Saskatchewan, and Manitoba until further notice. This message has been sent at the request of the Canadian government and the Department of Agriculture. In the past few hours, there has been increasing reports of rapid grain growth in the central United States, as well as in the Prairie provinces. It isn't known how this event had started, but the Department of Agriculture is trying to figure this out. This grain has been wreaking havoc across grasslands and forest, and smaller, rural areas have been completely drained of its population. At this time, you are requested to stay indoors, and keep a steady supply of water that will last up to 14 days or more. Le type d'événement est admin. Pour toute l'Alberta, la Saskatchewan et le Manitoba jusqu'à nouvel avis. Ce message a été envoyé à la demande du gouvernement canadien et du ministère de l'Agriculture. Au cours des dernières heures, de plus en plus de rapports font état d'une croissance rapide des céréales dans le centre des États-Unis, ainsi que dans les provinces des Prairies. On ne sait pas comment cet événement a commencé, mais le ministère de l'Agriculture essaie de comprendre cela. Ce grain a fait des ravages dans les prairies et les forêts, et les petites zones rurales ont été complètement vidées de leur population. À ce stade, il vous est demandé de rester à l'intérieur et de conserver un approvisionnement régulier en eau qui durera jusqu'à 14 jours ou plus. Oh my god i know this is unbelievable fortunately i'm pretty sure everyone has evacuated this city still insane knowing that this was once a big city well how do you think we'll be able to get all this grain out of here i'm not completely sure no one really is huh it smells like something's burning Oh God, we need to get out of here. The following message is transmitted at the request of several state law enforcements and the Federal Emergency Management Agency. Some time ago, a large fire had formed in a town located within central Colorado and has begun to spread rapidly as a result of the high amounts of grain located within the four corner states. Already, entire counties have been engulfed in flames, or have been decimated, and several major cities are being destroyed. 
it's expected that this fire could engulf and decimate the whole of the Four Corners in the next week. At this time, citizens residing in the Four Corners, especially in major cities, should evacuate to somewhere safe immediately. Be sure to bring the necessities with you for your travel, as well as a battery-powered radio to stay informed of any updates. Wow, this is already getting out of hand really fast. There's a massive fire that just started over in the southwest. Wait, what? We need to do something about this quick. I know. Everyone's trying their best to put out this thing, but nothing seems to be working. That's so. Well then, maybe this isn't an ordinary crop that's interesting to West. What do you mean? What else do you think it is? Perhaps this thing was invented somewhere within this nation and it could have made its way to the outside. Maybe it was. Stuff like this doesn't just appear out of nowhere. We need to find out the source of this. Si actualmente está escuchando este mensaje, se encuentra dentro de la región que requiere una evacuación inmediata. Recientemente, la tierra en el norte, incluida la tierra no cultivable, ha estado infestada de grano, trigo, maíz, soja y otros tipos de cultivos cultivables. Estos cultivos inusuales han provocado incendios en las principales ciudades debido al clima cada vez más seco y los suministros de agua se están agotando. El norte de México ahora se considera inhabitable, y todos en esa región deben evacuar la región de inmediato. Por favor traiga comida, agua, ropa, medicinas y otras necesidades. If you are currently hearing this message, you are within the region that requires an immediate evacuation. As of recently, land in the north, including non-arable land, has been infested with wheat, maize, soy, and other types of growable crop. These unusual crops have started fires throughout major cities due to the increasingly dry climate, and water supplies are draining up. Northern Mexico is now deemed uninhabitable, and everyone in that region needs to evacuate the region immediately. Please bring food, water, clothing, medicine, and other necessities. Our nation is in danger. For citizens who are unaware, there has been rapid crop growth on every bit of land for the past few months. This has led to regions and cities being decimated, and large fires sweeping through the prairie provinces. The rapid crop growth has also released a large amount of tempest into the atmosphere, and conditions outdoors in regions most affected are inhospitable, along with temperature drops being reported. While this phenomenon is more prevalent in the Prairie Provinces and British Columbia, it's beginning to make its way into the Northern Territories and Eastern Provinces. All citizens residing in Canada should remain indoors at this time, and minimize travel as much as possible. Military personnel will try to bring any supplies needed.
So this is where they said it was located? Yeah, though I'm not sure if anyone is here. Well, we should definitely still check. Any information could be beneficial. Wait. Look at this. There's a couple of papers here referring to some kind of crop substance. One that makes it last longer. I doubt that's its only function, though. It could explain why the crops grew throughout the nation so fast. That's definitely interesting. I think Dave might have been right. I'm thinking so too. Hang on, it looks like something is still playing from the TV. Alright, we've got our location. Hopefully everyone's still there, especially since the crops have started to appear in Florida. I hope so too. The only people that could exterminate this at this point are the people who made it. I never thought that this would be the next major disaster. No one did. Turn it up. This might be important. This is a national emergency action notification initiated by the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Wait, Administration. Wait, what the hell? This system was designed to only be used in the case of a national emergency, and is now seen as our best bet in trying to get this alert across the nation. As many of you are aware, the continent of North America has become overrun with various crops, growing on both arable and non-arable land. This has begun having lasting effects on the North American continent, and seems to be spreading to others nearby as well. The crops have been releasing high amounts of tempest, making air conditions nearly inhospitable and the high amount of crops have caused large fires to break out. If it's not taken care of soon enough, it could very well cause complete human extinction. However, you should not panic because of this. The United States government, as well as the governments of neighboring nations are trying their best to contain the phenomenon. All citizens at this time are to remain indoors, with any doors and windows locked. Only travel if you need to get any necessary supplies. Military forces will try to deliver any supplies it can. Stay tuned to a battery-powered radio for any updates. Is anyone here? Hello? Hey, who are you? Uh, hi. We were sent by the US government. Apparently to your old location. You are? James, and he's Paul. We're trying to find a way to exterminate this phenomenon. We figured you might know something about this too. Alright. I mean, we've been trying to do the same thing, though we don't have any proposals in practice. We do however know that we might be able to end the initial effects of this. That's good to hear, but do you know how you'll do it? I think so. We have gotten some stuff written down, and we're sure of one that will hopefully resolve everything. Alright then, let's give this a shot. I just hope that it does. This is an update to the United States efforts in trying to contain the ongoing phenomenon. As many of you are unaware, several kinds of crops, notably grain, have infested the North American continent, as well as bits of the Far East of Asia and South America. 
No, the United States government, in collaboration with the Agricultural Advancing Facility, have been working on a method to contain the event. Progress is being made, and it seems that this method will work. However, it will still take a lot of time to do, but in this time we ask everyone to remain calm and hold hope. Remain in your shelter and continue the instructions carried out. The United States government thanks you for your participation. Make sure to tune to a battery-powered radio for any updates. So, how did the crops manage to do this? We tried using the substance on a grain testing field, though that had resulted in the growth of grain spiraling out of control, and I guess it made its way outdoors. I'm not sure of the full story. Huh. Not sure how anyone's gonna respond to that.